Hello and welcome to today's Faithcast. Uh, Jesus often liked to talk in riddles with the people around him at the time and he often liked to challenge them with these riddles. And it's not so much a riddle but it's one of those sayings that we know from old. Whether we are Christ followers or not we will know this saying. It comes from Luke's Gospel chapter 18. Jesus is talking to his disciples about how they should live and how they can uh, be people of God. He said, you lack something, sell everything you have and give it to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come and follow me. What? Sell everything we have, said one man. Uh, he was very sad, it says this person, because he was a man of great wealth. Jesus said to him, how hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Indeed, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. When they heard this, they asked then, who can be saved if it's that hard? I didn't say that bit, I did that bit. Jesus replied, what is impossible with men is possible with God. Now you can understand this conversation, can't you? He's addressing people and amongst the people he's addressing, there's a wealthy man. And he says, because in Jesus knowing about his wealth and how, much, how important that was to him. He said, go and sell everything you've got and come and follow me. In other words, turn your life upside down. Throw away everything that you've believed in and stood for and lived for before and follow me. That's what's required, a wholehearted approach of following Jesus. It doesn't mean each of us has got to sell everything and go and follow him. He's challenging that man in that way because he knew, Jesus knew, that that man treasured those things. And that man said, well, I, I can't do all this. I, it's what, how, what, it, how do we do that? He says, and Jesus says, what's impossible for men is possible with God. And he uses that lovely illustration about the camel and the eye. But they, they were a farming people. They would have known about needles and sewing. They were, a, a, we, we know, of course, in the Middle East, there are lots of camels. And if you ever see a camel, it is the most ungainly, awkward looking creature. Not only is it a large creature, but you can you imagine trying to fit a camel through the eye of a needle? I mean, it just would be the most ridiculous thing to try and do. It would be comical almost to try and think you could get a camel through the eye of any kind of a needle, even if it was a big needle with a big hole in it. To try and get a camel through it, it would be impossible. But, says Jesus, that's what is impossible it's impossible for mankind for men of this day of any day it's impossible for you to enter the kingdom of heaven alone on your own by your own efforts it's as impossible as putting a camel through a needle but what's impossible for men he says is not impossible for God so we can know God and we can be in his his company and we can be part of his kingdom here on earth, if we follow the Jesus way of approaching things and living things. We too can go through the eye of a needle, impossible though it may seem. That's what God does with us. And there are many people down the ages who can testify to the power of God in the power of the Holy Spirit of God, changing people, changing their lives, bringing them from the brink of disaster, even from beyond that bringing them back to his side and restoring them as human beings. Can a camel go through the eye of a needle? Well, we don't think so, but God does, and he's who counts. See you soon. Bye now.